Hey everybody, it's Big AB here, telling you about the easiest way to use ES6 in your projects today. So that's ES6 imports and modules and everything cool. ES6, ES2015, ES Next, whatever you want to call it, all the cool features that JavaScript offers in browsers that don't quite support them yet. Now you've probably already heard of Webpack, so let's see how easy it is to set up our project with that. The first thing you do is set up your HTML to pull in a bundle.js file. Then we're going to set up a Webpack config file and we're going to npm install webpack. Our webpack config file will just export an object which we'll use to configure things and we'll npm install babel loader which will do our transpiling for us. Okay, so far so simple. Now we're just going to configure our entry points. We can use the node path module for that. Then we're going to configure our output points, in this case bundle.js, install webpack dev server and configure it for development. Then to be able to import CSS in our modules, we're going to install some loaders, the style loader and the CSS loader, and we're going to configure those along with the Babel loader inside our loaders array here. Then we install the ES2015 and stage zero presets for Babel and hook those up in the package JSON. Then install the copy webpack plugin and configure it along with the webpack no errors plugin in the plugin section so that webpack dev server can work off the HTML in the bundles directory. Configure your webpack's output to have colors and produce source maps and add webpack to your npm scripts all right let's face it that was not that easy so let's try the same thing again only this time let's use steel.js to get started with steel just npm install steel then in your html set your script source attribute to the steel file in node modules and then add a main attribute to that script and assign it a module name and that's going to be the main javascript module entry point for this page and that's it. You're up and running with ES6 modules. Steel.js loads in the browser, just like, you know, the browsers are going to when they implement the module spec. So you don't need a messy build step to start developing right away or to show off cool demos. And you get really sweet source maps right out of the box. So you can debug with the same source code you wrote. Now requesting each individual module is going to make a lot of requests. So for your production builds, you want to bundle all those modules together for optimal download times. And so to create these production ready bundles, just npm install steel tools. And now steel tools is just as easy to use as steel itself. You're just going to do steel tools build, and it's going to go through the dependency tree and figure out the modules and transpile and minify them. And so you've got these aforementioned optimal bundles, which will work in any browser and are great for performance. And then in your HTML file, you just change steel.js to steel.production.js and you're rolling with minimal requests production builds. So check out Steel.js, maybe even try it on your next project. It's got all the advanced features you need. It can load any module type, ES modules, AMD, CommonJS. It was made to work with NPM, so it just uses the NPM module names. Uh, you can load things other than JavaScript with it. You can load CSS, SAS, less, other things. Uh, it has the advanced code splitting option and, and much, much more. Check it out. But as I promised in the beginning and hope I've shown you, it is by far the easiest way to get started with ES6 modules and yet has all the features you need for your development process. Thanks a lot.